Well, Colin, thank you for joining us. Um, let's go back to the very start of your time here at Northampton Town, sort of the autumn of 2003. Um, where were you in your career and how did the possibility of you joining the club come about? And I'd, uh, I'd been probably two, two and a bit seasons at Tottenham, taking the reserves as it was known at that time, um, which is really probably the under 23s or under 21s. It's very between age groups. So um, I'd done sort of just about two, two and a bit seasons uh, at that level. Um, and at the time, I think Glenn had just, Glenn Orderly just lost his job. And I was actually um, helping out a bit more with the first team. David Preet was running it. Chris Shooting was obviously there as well. And um, for two or three games, just prior to me coming to Northampton, I'd sort of been involved a bit more with the first team on the match day rather than my, my schedule was training the uh, reserves and the young, younger boys. And predominantly on a Saturday, I would be doing match report for the first team for an upcoming fixture. So, um, through various ways, probably um, uh, people that had seen Tottenham Reserves and Tim Shell definitely had a contact with Northampton through Lee Power at the time. Um, and well, they, I think Lee had asked Tim and Tim had asked me whether I thought I was um, ready or wanted to go into like, management at Football League level. So uh, that was really the first I, I really heard of it. And then subsequently I've heard various people. Keith Park was quite influential at the club, being one of the scouts here. Um, I think they'd asked, people had just mentioned my name to the powers of B. So uh, I got invited up for an interview. And then obviously you had the interview, you, you got the job. And when when you were appointed, you would have found, I guess, quite a a big squad because it was a squad that had undergone a quite heavy recruitment the summer before. But results in those first few weeks of the season hadn't gone to plan, which I guess is is how you you arrived. Yeah, I mean, I I think so. I mean, I, I, even from afar, I knew that um, Northampton at, at the time were probably carrying quite a a substantial budget really for the division. So. Um, I'd, I'd sort of read on various sort of newspaper articles and websites that, if they were going at that time, just a bit about it. And, and obviously there was, people were thinking the, the group were underachieving a little bit. So as always, when there's a, a, a run of results, uh, as they were a little bit, then um, it sort of moves people to make decisions. Uh, and obviously the vacancy became available. Um, and you know it was uh, <coughs> to be honest Gareth I think the um, it looked as if I thought I was coming for an interview for the manager's job then it looked as if John Ward uh, was going to be maybe the option was to be an assistant to him that didn't happen then it was to have me as manager and then use John Dean as that sort of experienced head which um, really was quite a quite a bright idea by the club I must admit to have that sort of grey haired fella in the building with experience knowledge and a calmness about him that probably really helped me in that certainly the well I was going to say the first couple of months but undoubtedly it helped throughout the two and a half years I was there You came in as we said in the autumn of 2003 and that 03 04 season had a dramatic ending, which which we'll come on to shortly. But yeah. sort of from when you arrived up till Christmas, it was still a little bit hit and miss, wasn't it? You were probably getting to know the players, and results were a bit up and down. Yeah, no, when I look back at it, they actually, um, I think we presented something to the boys round about sort of Christmas time. Because if you look at if you look at the league form, it, it, I mean, it took uh, sort of one, two, three, more or less five games to get a, uh, the first victory. So um, that was with three draws, a defeat away at uh, Kidderminster. Uh, then, um, then we went to South End and won. So that was my first victory. But funnily enough, in between times there was cup games. So if you took what we did was around about Christmas time, we, we showed the players a sort of run of the games. And, and if you took the league form and added it to the cup games where we were. We'd obviously won a couple of them. 
a, a lead form and against teams in a higher division as well. Our, our form was actually good, so it was better than the points in some certainly than it uh, certainly looked. The defeats came in league games and wins came in top games. But overall, if you took that as a, a league programme, our points total would have been really good. So um, that was something to sort of, uh, bear in mind that although the league position hadn't really changed too dramatically, but our form was actually quite good through a period of any football, you know, any football. But the, the turning point really was the Boxing Day game where we'd been um, we decided to change formation and um, go to a three at the back, trying to really to get. I thought I had three good centre halves at the time, and I didn't didn't really see why we should leave out what I thought or felt were the better players within the group. Leave one of them out just to keep a back four. So we used, we used a back three, and we tried something a little bit different up front with. with just going with a flat four in midfield and, and a three up front, just to put teams under pressure, to press the ball a little bit higher up the pitch and always have somebody in an area higher that could uh, get down the line of the ball and put pressure on it. So that that was the reasoning. And the first game we used that was Bristol Rovers. And really the, the, the reason we got into the, uh, the playoffs eventually was the run from 26th of December or not. Yeah, that, that Boxing Day game, I, I recall it, I think 1-0 down at half-time and 1-2-1 one, one, one in the end. It led to yeah. a run of, I think, 16 wins in 23 league games, which, which propelled you into the playoffs. Just before we get onto that league win, though, you mentioned a moment ago how sort of the wins were coming in the cup games and obviously the FA Cup run that year was particularly special there was that replay win at Rotherham on that famous evening and then the fourth round game against Manchester United. Yeah, it was, and, and and that's things that definitely helped within the uh, within, within the club, uh, within the dressing room. Definitely, that there was we were going, we went toe to toe with uh, Rotherham, who were a, a real consistent championship team at that strong team, uh, and we had a chance to win the game right near the end in, in the first leg, and then in the Sunday the draw came out, and it was Man United away. And in all honesty, you're probably thinking that may have been the opportunity to, to get the tie because Rotherham away was a real, real tough fixture. And we lost the first goal there, but we had a wonderful night and ended up winning uh, with a real, real superb performance uh, against a good team uh, with the experience, with men. And it, it was really a, a, another... So I just add in a layer of confidence foundation of what the group could do and achieve against uh, when they had to battle and had to play football. And then that that night against Rotherham and, and that game against Manchester United, it sort of led into the league form and sort of particularly in February, March, April, you just got on a fantastic run. There at home, the wins were churned out and sort of there were some memorable away wins. That the, the win at Hull City seems seems to stick in my mind particularly. So um, you became a is it something of an unstoppable side for, for for a good few months in the second half of that season? Yeah, I mean, uh, well, we were on a, on a terrific run. When you look at the fixtures now, you look back at it, I mean, towards the end, we had a rearranged game against Huddersfield, which we were up there challenging, and and they beat us. But that, that was a, a game that would get replayed because it had been stopped when we were leading um, earlier in the season. Um so that that's one of those annoying ones that they were at that stage four games from the end of the season they were instead of being just contesting trying to get into the top three they were actually pushing for automatic promotion and were very close to it and that, that sort of momentum that we both had at the time you know you, I, I feel a bit aggrieved that we end up with a defeat in that game when we were leading 1-0 after 20 minutes in the, in the first game that game, I think, that first game that got called off was memorable. Like Mark Richards, as a young Mark Richards at the time, yeah. I think it was one of his first career goals and he'd worked so hard and waited so long for it and in the end it got removed from the records because that, that, that game was, was expunged. Um, yeah, but he, I, think, um, I think he came back um, the following week, which was at Macclesfield away, and he scored four goals in the first half. I, I think that's my recollection yeah. of it. Yeah, Maybe that's true. Slightly yeah. disjointed. 
Yeah, that's true. Um, this fantastic run led to the playoffs. Um, Mansfield Town over two legs. And um, the game everyone remembers um, is the second leg, that, that away tie at, at Field Mill. A fantastic atmosphere, a great night. In the end, a controversial night and a, a sense of injustice probably lingers even now. But w- what are your memories of that of that Mansfield tie? Um, and yeah, but I, mean, I think I think previous to that we had Swansea away, who were a, a good side, and we won at Swansea. Then we had Bury at home, the second last game of the season, and we, we were like two one down. Eric Sabin gets sent off in the second half, and we came with ten men to win that game, which was important. Gave us a chance in the last day away at Mansfield, and um, we produced a, a very good away performance against them to win, and it propelled us not only into the playoffs but into uh, sort of sixth place which m- made us play Mansfield again which <laughs> in the end was unfortunate but we get we get sort of beat by a better team in the first game and the second game is it'll always be in my top three games that I've been involved in in, in terms of excitement and the level of uh, the way the team played to be in that position to be three up shortly in the second half uh and then have the moment where Tom Cutts makes a challenge on Eric Sabin. He should get booked and sent off. Somehow, as everyone who was there knows, the referee gave a decision that uh, kept Tom Cutts on the pitch. And from the free kick that was, should have been ours, and them down to 10 men, Tom Cutts goes in from the edge of the box to give them the chance. That took the game into extra time. And unfortunately, we lost the penalties. The way that season ended was cruel, but it must have given you a lot of hope, a lot of pride, really, that you'd picked up a side that was struggling and spirits were low in the autumn. And, and by the following May, you'd you'd enjoyed a cup run to get as far as Manchester United and you'd got so close to getting to the playoff final. Yeah, I mean, it was. It, it was, and it, it was it probably... A, almost championship winning form we had in the second half of the season that, run, that number of wins that we had but um, as I look back now on it where experience takes me is that um, I should have I should have retained the likes of Paul Trollope Chris Hargreaves um, maybe even Ian Sampson I should have trained, tried to retain a bit more of that group and then add to it but uh, in a in a probably a slightly uh, inexperienced way, I thought we could. The budget had to come down, of course, but I thought we could recruit a little bit younger. And the contracts were up. But as I look back now, the the, the group in the, the second season just didn't have um, weren't as good as that team. And if we'd stuck with that team, it'd been interesting to see how we'd have competed against. I think they'd have done really well the second year with that group. But that's easy to say because our memory is of such a good run with all them in it. 